Good morning and welcome to GUE TV. We are here today to talk about scientific diving. Scientific diving is a very interesting activity because it will join scientists and divers with one single objective, which is the advance of science. So who does scientific diving? Scientific diving is done by researchers, by technicians, by students, and also by volunteers that are linked to research institutes. Citizen science projects are projects where scientists need the help of citizens to accomplish their scientific objectives. So they will need people to help them out to do their research. Although this sounds a really good idea, people need to have sufficient training and knowledge to be able to partner with scientists. Therefore, GUE has set up a GUE scientific diving program. The goals of the GUE scientific diving class are to be safe when doing those dives because you will be experiencing task loading. The second big objective of the class is efficiency. Efficiency is uh, reached on multiple steps. First of all, the understanding of the question being asked. The second, the familiarity with the protocols and the, and the uh, system behind uh, the, the execution of that specific method. And finally, the capacity to work in a team that is uh, going for the same goal, for the same objective. A lot of uh, these uh, tools and methods are already known by divers and some will be new and the combination of both during a, a, a class will bring efficiency to our scientific dive teams. And the third goal of the scientific dive class is to be scientifically correct. And the scientific correctness it's uh, linked to multiple steps that I can already disclosure. One of it is to be able to understand the sampling protocol. The second is to be able to follow that sampling protocol. And third, how will I avoid that I will interfere with that protocol by having my own choices when it's time to choose A or B, because that will dramatically change the uh, outcome of the research. Specifically what we did today was use transects along which uh, we had sampling points and we used quadrats uh, of determined um, surfaces to be able to accurately measure the amount of species and the um, coverage of algae. Jury really Scientific Diver, super cool course. Please don't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how did it help? It gave us um, methods to use underwater, how to efficiently use them, how to efficiently communicate within a team and organize, uh, this, and organize and plan this sort of dive and efficiently carry out the work that needs to be done. So to summarize it, we have talked about what is scientific diving, who does scientific diving and where, and what is the class objectives which are to be safe, efficient and scientifically correct.